So, is this the fastest deal you've ever seen? Yeah. <laughs> This is my first deal. <laughs> oh, okay. I will tell you right now, not everyone's going to be so easy. So guys, this is crazy, but I've... This is the first apartment I've been inside in Kharkiv. And I've been inside for about 10 minutes. Uh, checked everything, see if it works. And I decided to buy it. So, uh, the price is so good. It's 37,000 US dollars. It's 36 square meters, but it's so it's small, but it's really well laid out. Everything is just completely renovated. And for this price, it includes everything you see here. So like the kitchen renovation, the new floors. My friend. Uh -huh. And you see the, the uh, living room. Everything is done. So it's like move and ready. And also, I'm just going to rent it out when I'm not here. Uh, the rents are very low, but for a little bit over $1,000 per square meter, it just it makes too much sense. Here is a quick tour of the bedroom. I also, I don't like that it's kind of on the first floor, but I'll make an exception just because it's, it's kind it's not really on the first floor. Uh, and it just comes with everything. Everything's from Yunsk, that shop I go to. All right, so I'm gonna be closing on my house like in the next few weeks. I started furniture shopping. This place called Jisk. It's kind of like the Danish Ukrainian Ikea. That's the best way to describe it. Have you guys ever been to a G's before? It's kind of cool, I like it. So these are, that's the couch I like, that kind of dark gray. It's kind of like an Ikea. I think they're like a Danish Ikea from what I can tell, but I have no idea. I don't really like this cheetah, but it's okay. Here's a nice closet layout. This is nice. This is nice as well. It comes with washer dryer. Boiler, everything. Is this the fastest deal ever? Yeah. <laughs> ten, 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, no, no, that's it. 10 minutes, we, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we sign the deal. Buy, yeah. yeah, okay. I will get my stuff. So, is this the fastest deal you've ever seen? Yeah. <laughs> this is my first deal. Oh, okay. I will tell you right now, not everyone's going to be so easy. Yeah. <laughs> but for me, it's like... You I, are a good client. Spussy, but the best client, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the best. Uh, not the good, best. best. The best. Sama Luchi. The Sama Luchi. Oh, thank yeah. you. Good agent. I'm uh, only stay and uh, close my mouth. <laughs> 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 the Kodi Rudat for sir. No, no, she's, you're very good. Your English is very good, very helpful. Uh, uh, now I'm learning English in this. Um, Uh, this job, yeah, this yeah. Space. On this street? Yeah, yeah, this is like our speaking club. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, I'll explain to everyone. The reason why I bought it so quickly is I know this neighborhood, I like this street a lot. Uh, this is Darvina, which is like a less than a 10 minute walk to Mirror Stream. This is the center of Kharkov. Center, center. Yeah. yeah. Good Park. Good, uh, good renovation. Yeah, yeah, renovation. Yeah, the good design. At first, I didn't like it yeah. on paper because Can I, here alone or was, yeah, I will probably rent it when I'm not here, uh -huh. and then sometimes I'll maybe like for me it's like a backup, like in case I want to live somewhere small and cheap, yeah. it's easy to be here, and when I'm gone, I can just rent it. I won't earn so much money from it, but like for the price, it's really good. So I thought, yeah. okay, I'm stupid not to buy it. <laughs> What's the song? Kameta, Kameta. <laughs> how, how, how's it go? How do you sing? Kameta, if that's a bad doom, it's a letter. Yan, I do it. Yan, I do it. Oh, it's in class. Yeah, I can sing all uh, songs. I feel like every Ukrainian girl can sing. Yeah. And every Ukrainian guy thinks he can sing. <laughs> <laughs> I show everything. I show behind the scenes. <laughs> so guys, this is Estate Invest. This is the second company that I went with. You guys probably watched the first video about that one agent that was terrible. These guys are pretty good. Uh, so, so far, I'm excited. I'm in their office. Literally 30 minutes after meeting with them, check out the place, walking down the street. We walked there, it's so close. 
And now we're gonna decide some paperwork, maybe do deposit, get the ball rolling. It's bad timing as I'm flying to Turkey in a few days and I'll be gone for probably three weeks. Uh, and also the owner is out of town right now, should be back in a week. And I didn't bring my passport. I left it in Kiev, so, cause I didn't think I was gonna buy anything. <laughs> I didn't think I would need it. So kind of bad timing for everything, but I really want this deal to go through. So we're gonna put on our thinking hats and let's try to make this happen. <laughs> For another people. Because okay. So, so, three, so yeah. instead of 3,700, it's 3,750. Yeah. Oh, okay, 500. For three weeks. Okay. Can, can do it. Okay. Um, I come back in three weeks. Mm -hmm. So then maybe, yeah, when I come back, I can come. Like, maybe have. Uh, so, four weeks uh, or something. Yeah. It will be maybe 22 or 25 of June. Нет, я думаю, билеты есть в Турцию, и он вернут даты. И еще, I need your document, паспорт, код, все, в принципе. Мне сейчас не нужно, мне сейчас не нужно. Оформлять, оформлять. Так, Джонни, задаток оформим на агентство, хозяина нет, но мы можем взять эту тысячу как гарантию, что эта тысяча долларов остается у нас. Говорить. Ну, тысяча, да, тысяча долларов. Тысяча долларов. А? Две. Как? Сколько вот две тысячи? Хочешь две? Какая разница? Моя предложение. Да. Я даю тебе копию документов для владельца. И я даю тебе копию документов для флэта. Окей. Вы можете видеть, что это реальный флэт, это реальный человек. Если вы хотите, мы можем его купить. И вы можете видеть ее паспорт и просто видеть ее в фейстайм, или, может быть, вайбер. Это будет нормально, и вы будете очень... Скажи, что я... То есть, я отвечаю за это. Да, это мой друг, это все хорошо. Окей. И она мой друг. Окей. Так что вы доверяете ей. Окей, я понимаю. And uh, we want to to give you this copy of documents yes. and copy the, 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 the main document uh, that you will stay for us two thousand dollars for the flat number uh, okay. seven yeah, yeah. address uh, all the time so you don't want us uh, no, sixteen and something else okay okay um, so what I would do is uh, I will just message my lawyer in Kiev. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe you can send her the documents. I, I don't need the documents. You send it to her, and if she thinks it's okay idea, then I am happy to do it. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. All right, guys. So I had a quick uh, lunch break. They prepared the documents. Actually, it was great that I had a lunch date. So I sent all the paperwork. Uh, to my lawyer, Tatiana, contacted Crane, she's amazing. And basically in that hour, she spoke to Yvonne uh, and to the owner and they've made all the agreements. Here's Yvonne, hello. Hi. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, basically she went over this preliminary contract. Uh, we negotiated them paying 4%. Bye bye, bye, -bye. Um, So at first they, he wanted uh, 5% as kind of what is the standard asking. And I said, if it's gonna take like one year for me to find a place, I'll, I'll happily pay even 6%. But because it took like 10 minutes to find this place, we can negotiate at 4%. 4%. And I'm happy with this because it's not expensive property. It's uh, about 37,000 US. So if it was over 100,000, then for sure I'd want 3% because it makes a big difference. But because it's like a relatively cheap property, I was happy with 4%. So I'm signing oh, basically within a few hours, like within two hours. Of seeing the place, sign the deal, and then tomorrow I'll be going to Kiev, meeting with Tatiana, the lawyer and the owner, to sign everything else, and maybe even close the deal tomorrow. So let's see. Just yeah, no, 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 no. Uh huh. Uh huh. E. So. E is this. This is this. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's it. Thank you very much. Oh. That was it. Спасибо. Congratulations. Not yet. Af after oh, okay. after it's finished. This is the only beginning. Yeah? This is the beginning. And then we will celebrate with some tea. Okay. Maybe coffee. Moja. Moja pino. Oh, cap latte. Moja with latte. The, with candy, okay? With candy? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Let's do it. <laughs> so I can't believe my trip to Kharkiv uh, was so quick, but I did so much. I went to my buddy Ingen's wedding, his birthday. And I looked at and bought basically the first property 
that I saw in Kharkiv. Uh, but now I'm actually headed back to Kiev, and tomorrow morning I'm putting down the deposit and signing the preliminary agreement with my lawyer. She's checking all the contracts right now. It's like the fastest deal close ever. But I'm comfortable with it because I know the area very well. I lived in Harky for a few months. I've stayed in probably six or seven Airbnbs. So I know the area, I know the pricing. Hey, come on guys, for a thousand dollars per square meter, just like just over, less than 1100 a square meter, fully furnished, brand new renovation. You can't go wrong with that. So I'm excited. Even if I just kind of hold on to it and stay there once in a while, I'm not even worried too much about the rent, even though I'll, I'll try to rent it out. But anyways, I'm going to hop on the sleeper train and go back to Kiev. And it's so ironic that I was staying in a hostel for $8 a night the last five days and sleeping on two trains. So I haven't slept in my own room or had any privacy for about a week now, which is crazy for someone who just dropped 40k in 10 minutes. <laughs> So here we are. This is the train. Alright, guys, good morning. I have made it to Kiev. And in a few hours, I gotta go to the lawyer's office to finish this deal. Or at least put down the deposit, the preliminary agreement. And this marks one straight week of me sleeping in shared rooms or shared trains. There's four people in this room. Luckily, everyone was super quiet and respectful. I'm going to sleep early. Nobody was drinking and up, uh, hanging out and, and chatting like they were last time. So I actually slept really well. And basically, I think I'm gonna just drop off my stuff, go straight to the lawyer's office, and hopefully sign this deal because I really like this apartment. And ironically, Tomorrow, I'm gonna go back to that same lawyer's office to hopefully transfer $145,000 for that other apartment, that first apartment that I actually bought. So back-to-back -back apartments, going from sleeping in hostels and trains to owning two places in two days, it's crazy. I don't know how best espresso this could actually be, but I need this. I got a double espresso. Nice, it's actually froth, so kind of cool machines. I like these. Cheap too, like 50 cents a piece. Not that good though. Definitely not the best coffee I've ever had, but it's done its job. I'm awake. Power of the day. So now we're heading from the train station to my apartment, which is actually half a block away from Lori's office. It's perfect. So guys, now we are in Kiev and yeah, meeting with the agent. Oh, she's not the man. She's behind me, but she's the owner. <laughs> we, we hide her. Uh, Tatiana, you recognize her as our lawyer, Hello. best lawyer in Ukraine. Sama Luchaya. And what about me? Uh, we'll see after this. <laughs> so I'm happy. Uh, and we are in Kiev doing the preliminary agreement, hopefully closing on this house very quickly. Uh, we'll keep you updated. So now with the notary, he's checking everything for us. Signing away my contract. Guys, so I, I wired... Oh, sorry, it's okay. You can be in it. So I sent this money, this deposit, like from WISE, TransferWISE, Shadow TransferWISE. We sent $2,000 from my phone to her Ukrainian account and literally like 20 seconds later I hear this uh the sound it's like the Oreo Oleshka sound and she's like I got it I cannot believe how fast this is from US dollar to Grivna to Ukraine 
in 20 seconds it, it, with a good conversion rate. It was a fifty dollar fee, which is kind of is high, but for it's like the easiest way to do it. So transfer wise, good job, guys. I'll I'll put a link to them below. So if you want, if you don't have an account, it's called Wise now. I don't know why they rebranded it, but very good. All right, so we just had lunch to kind of just uh, get some food, take a break. Now we're going to the bank, actually for the second apartment. But what I realized is this agent did more harm than good. Like, I, 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 I kept assuming that he was working for her because he was like saying, oh, what about this line? What about this line? And wasted so much of our time going over everything, removing things, like, and I then, Afterwards, during lunch, I was like, yeah, so why was he here? And Tatiana was like, oh, I thought he's working. I thought he was working for you. You hired him. I'm like, I didn't hire this guy. Like, why, why is he, why is he making our life in this deal more difficult? And when she is not even paying for him. So all real estate agents in Ukraine suck. <laughs> they all are terrible. In my experience, they're all bad. <laughs> there are very good agents, but uh, sometimes yeah. they act uh, not on your behalf and uh, act not very well. Yeah. And then Ivan, the Ivan, the one I met in Kharkiv, now he's upset that we're doing this deal in Kiev, and now he has to come all the way here. And I, I, I said to him, I said, so instead you want me and the seller, who both live in Kiev, to go, go to your office in Kharkiv, five hours away? just so you don't have to come here. And I even asked him, I said, Kent, is it possible to do in Kiev? And he said, no, no, it's impossible. You have to do it in Kharkiv. You both have to come up here. And now legally I found out we can do it here. And now I'm even more upset at Yvonne and Estate Invest for lying to me. So now I'm paying them this, this commission for doing nothing. And I realized I don't need him here at all. Like I'll pay, I'll pay them anyways, because they found the flat and because I, I told them I would, but it like, it really like makes me feel these agents are a complete waste of our time. Show us the place and then get out of our life. 